All right, and here's another redneck life tip. It's a performance enhancement, or deterrent, however you look at it, for the uh, Powerfish 6.5 horse engine. This is a little modification I come up with on my own, just through uh, experiment and such like. It's a new uh, Power Fist engine, uh, Honda clones. They're uh, absolutely an excellent engine from my experience, anyway. And uh, there's one thing that's uh, up with them. I think the manufacturer manufactures in a small, it's not a defect, but it's a little performance inhibitor, I call it. Where it, uh, the engine won't perform as good as a Honda engine. And they do that on purpose, so they keep selling their Honda engines. Now, uh, the reason I'm doing this from the beginning is so you can see what it takes. It's, just, it's that easy. This isn't my engine. It's uh, a friend of mine that uh, requires it and he knows what I'm doing and wants, wants the modification done to his engine. So. That's what I'm doing. I figure I'll show you while I do it. This is stuff I don't know what this is all about, but maybe somebody someday will explain that to me. <laughs> yeah, she's brand spanking new. Ooh, it even smells new. Like plastic. Yep. Let's take this out. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> what we're gonna do? I don't need that kind, bud. Make sure it's in the shot. Yep. I know. Make sure you don't lose any of these. Okay. The part we're interested in. In here. Okay, keep going back. There we go. What they've done is inhibited the motion of the float. So, without further ado, let's get into that. Well, this is tight anyway. <laughs> as soon as you see this, you'll understand. Exactly what I'm talking about. Jeez, she's even feeling that. <laughs> How brand new that is, isn't it? Looks brand new. So, anyway, right here. I'm making sure we get everything. Float. That looks normal, correct? Let me see if I can make sure I get it focused for you. This is the float out of the machine. What you got to do is you'll notice on the underside of the float, can you all see? This extra bit here I've got a hold of. I'm hoping that this is in the shot just right. This little extra bit here is not needed. What that does is that inhibits the motion of the float so the carburetor can't perform like it should. So what I do, what I do is use all my parts all over the place first. That way that's out of the way. Take your dollar store nippers. Take that little guy right off there. The closer you can get it, the better. Just a factory. You do it's in right in the molding. It looks like it's supposed to be there and all that, but when you think about it, that little block keeps that float from coming down and letting fuel in as fast as it, as it could. 
or as it should for that matter so take that little block off there put your rigging back together it doesn't have to be a new engine I'm just using this one as, as an example because it's nice and pretty right and a perfect example of which one to give it a go And I will guarantee taking that off so the float has a chance to go all the way to the bottom. You don't need him super snug either because fuel runs in there and screw up the gaskets and there's all kinds of reasons why you don't. There's one mod that can make a big difference. That there will actually be exactly like a Honda. That's all they do. That's the difference right there. So, I'll put this back in the box. Take that down to my buddy and I'm putting that on a snowblower that he toasted the motor in this year. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be a be an animal to deal with next year, I think. Where's that extra part? You're not. Complete. Back together. Have to do everything twice as usual. Ready to go. There's another. Tips from a redneck, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching.